Let's talk about Takat Subo Cardiomyopathy, also known as Broken Heart Syndrome in 60 seconds. So basically, due to some emotional or physical stress, there is a release of catecholamines in the body, leading to sudden ballooning of lower part of heart, also known as apical ballooning. Now, there are some subtle changes in ECG that can help you diagnosing Takat Subo in time. So, in initial few hours, the ECG will show ST elevations, but just keep in mind there will not be any reciprocal ST depression as seen in STEMI. So that makes it different from STEMI. But there will be subtle increase in troponins, ST elevations, no ST depressions. This is the initial few hours up to 24 hours. But after 24 hours, the ST elevations will settle down. But there will be global T wave inversions and the QTC starts prolonging making the patient at high risk of having torsades. Now after one week the T wave inversions and QTC prolongation will be normalizing so this is the resolution phase. Now you comment below what you'll find in the angiogram will there be any obstruction or not comment below.